All right, we're gonna go through the wiring real quick on the control wizard here. Um, you're gonna see that there's two different relays in here. The relay on the right is the on off for the pump. That's a 110 volt relay. The relay on the left here is controlling the uh, ball valves, the electric ball valves on this. So you can see we got the wire on the right here coming out, the wire on the left here coming out. This is your power wire that runs down to your battery. You can see I already have that hooked up. We have our voltage regulator and everything on there. And you'll see when I hit the power switch on the other side here, the voltage regular regulator goes up. Um, I can actually turn the power up and down by pushing these. Every two clicks is uh, one volt or a tenth of a volt. So you can see how it goes down. So I want to go back up. I want to try to get that as close to 11 as I can. So now I got that up to 12 volts. So uh, you might only get an 11 volt reading, but now it'll max out at 12 volts. So those, this will drop the voltage, this will raise the voltage. You're gonna need to be above eight volts to get these relays or the board to activate, but you wanna be closer to 12 volts to make it work right. Um, so programming the remotes, you're going to push the little black button here. Let's see if this wire is out of the way. You're gonna push this little black button here and you're gonna see this light turn red. I'm gonna grab the remote out of my hand right here so you can see. So I'm gonna push this little black button here and hold it for a couple of seconds and it turns red. As soon as it turns red, I release it. Then I'm gonna hit the A button and you'll see the lights blink. I'm gonna hit the B button and you'll see the lights blink again. Now it's programmed. So A turns the valves, B starts and stops it. So. If you see in front here, you'll also notice that when I do that, the A button will make the, the switch on the left light up, on and off. Same thing, switch on the right with the B button, on and off, and that turns on the booster pump. I can also manually control the valves from this point, on and off, and the booster pump, on and off. That allows me to do that. I can also turn the booster pump on and off from the switch right here, on and off. Now, coming off of the control wizard, we have the 110 relay here with the black and the white wire coming out of it, uh, going through that first wire. That wire comes back around underneath here and runs up into the switch box here. And what you're gonna see is over on the right here, we have the black and the white wire that come out right here. Those two wires will come over. The white wire, we're gonna connect with the blue wire and run into one side of the switch. And the black wire is gonna come around here and connect with the black wire that comes in with the power and connect to the other side of the switch right here. So what, the, what we're doing is we're able to, with the relay, turn the switch on as if it didn't exist or bypass it and do it here. So that's where those two wires are gonna go. Coming off the 12 volt relay for the uh, ball valves, we have three wires coming off there. We have a black, a white, and a green. And the way we set this up, since I don't have a black, a white, and a red wire available to us, um, I try to color coordinate as best we can. So the black wire is gonna come around and connect to just the black wires on the ball valve. You see here, black to black. I'm gonna connect the white wire to the white wires on the ball valve, and I'm gonna use the green wire and connect it to the red wires on the ball valve. So what that'll do is when I activate the switch, it sends power to the ball valve and tells it to turn. So I'll do that with the relay here and you can actually physically see it turn. I'm gonna hit the remote right here. Okay, and you see it does, it changes the direction of flow of where it's coming from. Now, when we set up these ball valves, we have them defaulted, and you can see on the top one here, same thing. All right, so when we have these ball valves, we come in through the bottom, or on the side on this one, and then we can go either down to the booster pump, which comes around here, or we can go up to feed the tank. And on this one, we can either draw in from the proportioner or the direct feed from the garden hose and into the booster pump. Now when we set these up as a default, we default to the proportioner and feeding the tank. So this, this ball valve on the top is defaulted. As you see, it's drawing from coming in from the side here and then going out up to the tank. 
that's the default mode. On the one on the top of the booster pump, we're drawing from the proportioner, which is to the left here, and then defaults and then goes into the booster pump. So after we activate it, this will allow us to, when we switch it, you see it's switched now. Up here, we're actually coming in from the water and then going down and feeding directly into the booster pump. And this one's coming in from the direct feed of the garden hose and then going into the booster pump. So that allows us to switch from drawing chemical directly from the uh, tank or for the through the proportioner and uh, dr get water to come in directly from the garden hose for rinsing. So we can rinse on a moment's notice from a distance. We'll just hit the button, boom, switch, switch. And if you look to the right there, you can see the lights changing on the control wizard. Here, if I hit the B button, you'll see I'll turn the booster pump on. You can actually hear it, booster pump off. So we have the ability to do that with the remote control and that's how it works. The remote control will only work if the power's on. So if I turn this power off, I can hit these buttons all day long and it won't do anything. However, because it's defaulted to filling the tank and filling the, uh, working from the proportioner, I can still continue to work if for some reason my battery goes dead because I can turn it on. And off right here. If you lose the remotes, again, you can still do it manually to switch your valves for priming. So it would be on, on for prime or rinse and off for drawing from the proportioner. On for prime or rinse, off for the proportioner. So that's how we wire up the control wizard onto the booster pump and how we uh, work the valves to utilize the uh, remote system to switch between rinsing and drawing from the proportioner. Uh, Paul from Power Wash Store, 855-351. 9274